Project Search. Hey y'all, it's Danny again. Today's presentation is another quiz about preparing to return to UTMC. Do your best to answer the questions. You should have a pen or pencil and paper ready to record your answers to each question in this quiz. It is the final quiz that you will take before we return to UTMC. I wanna make sure everyone has all the knowledge they're gonna need in order to stay safe and be productive when we return. Project Search UTMC Remote Learning, preparing to return, final quiz. Question one, true or false, you must always wear a cloth mask when you are at UTMC. Pause the video, answer the question. Question two, when we return to UTMC, blank will need to be stored on the shelves during class sessions. A, masks, B, books and magazines, C, pens and pencils, D, all of the above. Pause the video. Do your best to answer the question. Question three. You should blank before you put on your cloth mask. A, comb your hair. B, wash your hands. C, mop the floor. D, take a walk. Pause the video. Do your best to answer the question correctly. Question four, true or false? When you remove your mask, you should use the ear loops and avoid touching the rest of the mask. Pause the video, do your best to answer. Question five, when you wash your hands, you should lather the soap by rubbing your hands together for at least blank. A, five seconds. B, 10 minutes. C, 45 seconds. D, 20 seconds. Pause the video. Do your best to come up with the correct answer. Question six. Which of the following is not considered a possible symptom of COVID-19? A, temperature of 100 degrees or higher. B, aches and pains. C, dry cough. D, hunger. Pause the video. Do your best to come up with the correct answer. Question seven, true or false? If you experience symptoms associated with COVID-19 when you are at home, the first person you should call is the instructor. Pause the video. Think about the question. Do your best to answer correctly. Question eight. When is it okay to ask questions and or make comments during class time? A, whenever you want to. B, when the instructor says it's time for questions and comments. C, when someone else is already talking. D, both A and C. Pause the video. Do your best to answer the question correctly. Question nine. True or false, when you report to Project Search each morning, hospital personnel will check your temperature before you are allowed to go inside. Pause the video. Do your best to answer the question correctly. Question 10, true or false, the consequences for violating program rules and or not following instructions from Project Search staff and departmental supervisors include a written warning, suspension, and eventually dismissal. Pause the video while you think about the question. Do your best to answer. Is this the last learning session, Danny? It is, it is. Yeah, that's right. This is the last remote session that we'll be doing. However, it's actually a good thing, because this means that we're gonna be going back to UTMC. I'm excited, I hope all of you are, and you gotta have all this new information. Keep it all in mind over the next several days, 
you might go back and watch some of these last videos that we did and make sure that you know everything you need to know so that when we get back, things will go very smoothly for all of us. In the meantime, stay safe out there. Goodbye, please. Project Search.